All right, just wanted to show my current Denix collection real quick. I got the <clears throat> Colt Peacemaker and the Colt 1911. The 1911 originally had these wood handle grips on there, and I was able to pick up these pearl handle grips, and I had to do a bunch of work to get those on there. Um, these handle grips are shorter in length than a normal 1911, and the holes are slightly off. So what I had to do is put this on my pearl handle grips when I got them in, cut off the bottom on a bandsaw, you know, and then smooth that out and polish it back out, working up the grits and then some polishing compound. And then the holes were the hard part. I had to put some electrical tape on the back side of the grips. And then, so the tape kept the the baking soda from falling out the bottom of the holes. So I put a little bit of baking soda in, just like a little pinch, and then tapped it down with the back side of a paintbrush, you know, like a real fine paintbrush. Um, so the back side of that, I used that as a tapper and tapped the baking soda down, and then put a little bit of super glue in, and then put a little more baking soda, tap it down with the back side of the paintbrush, and then put some more super glue in, and just kept doing that until I built up the holes on this. Uh, pearl handle now the nice thing about the baking soda and um, super glue is that the color is really close you can see right here on un right underneath the screw if I can get this thing to focus seems to always be an issue okay so right underneath the screw you can see this circle here there the light hits it you can see it but when the light's not directly on it, the color matches really, really good. So yeah, it takes a little bit of work to get these handle grips on there. And like the drilling is a nightmare. That's the hard part is drilling the new holes, trying to get them right. And then the, the part of the metal frame, it actually has like a, a, half, a half a sphere. It's like a, a circle dome. And then it has the screw hole in the center. So you got to replicate that on the back of the handle, and that could be a real pain. I wish I had a, a Dremel, which I don't have my Dremel here. It's uh, in a different house right now. It's at my, uh, it's in my mom's basement. But here in my apartment, I just have the um, drill bits and drill. So I had to try to replicate those dome shapes with a drill and drill bits and yeah, it was a real pain. But uh, I did get them on there. They look pretty good. And um, the only issue I ran into is this screw is not straight. It's in, it, it's in it at an angle. But, yeah, once I built up the baking soda and super glue, I had to, um, you know, work my way down the grits and then I was sandpaper to polish this back out and... A lot of hand buffing and polishing and sanding. Let's see, if I flip this. There's the bottom, and I got the length right. Beautiful pearl handles. Yeah, so there's that one. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. And then this guy, I'm going to leave stock. I just like playing with it and, you know, doing the old spin with him. Trying to learn that stuff. I've never done that stuff before, so kind of new to that. And then, yeah, these are the old handles. Um, it's nice that they put, like, a clear on them. So they do have a shine to them. But, I don't know, I'm just kind of burn out on wood handle grips. It, it's just so common that, oh yeah, that's what it would look like if it wasn't cleared. That's the back of it, the front of it. Yeah, they do have a, a clear coat on there. But yeah, the pearl, I think, makes it look a, a lot, lot better. Yeah. All right. Well, I just thought I'd show you this little Dynex collection. It's pretty cool.
All right, see you guys later.